Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for another video update. Been a while since we did one of these. Time to get back in the saddle. Welcome to the internet's most polarizing show with reviews both positive and negative. People are on the fence about these things. They kind of like it, they kind of hate it. Well, you know what? You got to get another one because I got some information to put into your brain sockets. All right, so the first piece of news we have to cover, probably the most important, is that we have entered the running to the official 2017 Tell Us Story Hive web series challenge. Essentially how it works is that we ask viewers like you to vote on our project every single day, that's once a day, to help us bring us to the top of the leaderboard and put us in the running for $10,000. With that $10,000 we'll be able to produce a high quality, high production value web series pilot, um, which would be a 10 minute pilot, um, which we can use to help uh, sell to investors to help bring p potential shows um, to Netflix or to other uh, streaming platforms or so on and so forth. It's a ton of money. It's more money than I'm able to spend to make projects like this uh, what they are. So with your help, link in the description, go and vote for our project. And like I said, you can vote on our project once per day. Not only that, but you're given five free votes per day. So you don't just have to vote for us and then call it a day. There are plenty of other projects you can look at the page that might interest you as well that you might want to see bring to the top. And yeah, support the community. Uh, don't just go to us, but check out other people as well and uh, send a vote their way as well. You have a, a pl plenty of votes to give around. So what is this project? Well, it's a project created by Jared Cheer, um, one of our, our main cameramen on, on uh, the channel. Uh, he, he shows up for a lot of our sketches and he helps film them and stuff. So he's a big behind the scenes guy. Essentially, he came to me before we even started the Story Hive and told me that he had an idea for a show where he would have regular people try and solve m murder mysteries, essentially, which was like his, his original pitch. And of course, like stuff will change and and uh, conform to to sound better. But at a base level, he wanted to make a show where he had just regular people uh, try and solve mysteries like a detective would, and try to figure stuff out, even though they have no detective experience. And we were talking about making that show possible somehow. Um, and I told him, yeah, of course, like, if you have it all planned out, we can plan a time to, like, set it up and actually shoot a pilot for Vod Attack and see if you guys, you, the viewers at home, will like it. Um, but then, kind of last minute, we saw that, uh, the Story Hive deadline was approaching, and we decided, you know what, let's just fucking jump into Story Hive and just go for it. So we've been working around the clock to have a pitch package ready to go. We've shot the pitch video, uh, which as you can see was uploaded yesterday, so um, check that out if you haven't. And uh, we're trying to cover all our bases to make sure that we can interest people like you into our project. We're hoping to get it. If not, there's still avenues to explore this project further in the future. However, with the budget that they can give us to make it possible, we can ramp up production quality like, you know, you wouldn't believe. Production design through the roof. We, we have a, a wide variety of things that we can, we can accomplish with that money. So, obviously, it would be real nice to have that. So, like I said, leave a vote if you think this is a project you want to see coming up. All right, time to move on to the next piece of news. I have started funneling my passion into creating board games. I decided uh, a couple months ago that I found a real passion in how board games function, how they work, and I felt that uh, my place in this world um, had to be in board game creation somewhere because I feel like I, I, I could get a game on a shelf. I feel like I have a good understanding of how games work. So what you're seeing here is... Yes, it's not the sellable prototype. This is not going on store shelves at all. Like, look at my, look at my my sh shitty drawing of a of a lemon there. Um, I just yeah no, you're not gonna buy this if you see this in stores. You're gonna be like, who left their art project here? 
this is essentially the alpha prototype. So what this is, is it, I, I, it's just a mock-up. I took like a board game that I didn't play. Like uh, I took Risk, A Balance of Power, the two-player Risk version. And I essentially um, painted over it in white and then drew the board in pencil and drew all the cards in pencil. And I took assets from uh, the Zombies game that we, that we also never play um, and put them in here. And essentially, I'm just using all these recycled parts in order to test out the board game and, you know, work out all the kinks. And then once everything has been tested and it, it comes out as okay and ready to go, then I will invest in actually getting an artist um, to join me on this project, um, pr preferably on deferral um, if I can find one and just go and do like a split share on the whole thing. Because obviously, you know, if I ha if if I do end up having to pay commission, which I will if if nothing else works, um, then it'll be the game. The game's progress will be delayed a bit, uh, just so I can save up the money to be able to commission the artist to draw the cards and draw the board and so on and so forth. Um, and then once all that stuff is done in Photoshop. Then I will pay to bring it uh, to sort of manufacturers that will manufacture different things like cards, for example, and then maybe get the board and the board paper stuck on and, and the box art and all that. So once I get all those elements put together, then I can take this out to investors or potentially a Kickstarter and, and show people that I have a product that's like ready to go this is how it looks and like would you like to buy it sort of deal um you know i definitely don't want to make it an etsy thing etsy is going to become too expensive because i'm going to need people to help not only give me some money of my own but also help pay for the the elements that i have to print myself rather than have a manufacturer mass produce it for like a small price so Etsy's kind of out of the question because you're spending way too much on a board game that you might spend, you know, a fraction of the price on. For example, I'm expecting to spend more than $500 to get this sellable prototype done. You would look at a board game like that and you'd probably pay $40, $30 to $40, so, which is understandable. Like, I don't think anybody wants to pay $500 for, like, a board game. Uh, I think that's a little too much, to be honest. So yeah, I'm working on that. Um, looking for suggestions on how to approach things, and you know um, what my what the best options are in going about um, getting this pr sellable prototype done. But in the meantime, I'm not really worrying about that too much, as I still got a game tested first, and um, you know I'm working on it whenever I have a chance to work on it. Um, so yeah, that's letting you know that's what's going on. All right, let's cut to intermission. All right, biatches. It's time for a new segment I like to call, What's in Matthew's Fridge? Ready? Go! That's it! Alright, so to wrap things up, we're gonna do a little thing called Shout Out Hour, I guess. Good friend of mine, right out of university, I've known him since then, so great guy, and uh, he runs a YouTube channel. In fact, he started running a YouTube channel in university, um, and I was one of the early subscribers to his channel, so I think he had like 20 or less subscribers when I subscribed to his channel when he announced that he was going to go into YouTube. Now he has over 1,500 subscribers, and he's growing pretty fast. He started doing Injustice 2 videos, which got him basically on the map because people are liking how he plays the game and they're liking, you know, his commentary on it and his analysis. And also, he's just really good at fighting games. Like, the guy is is great at fighting games. Anyway, I wanted to take this time to congratulate Noob on his milestone. That's really amazing. And um, I know I probably already mentioned it to him in private messages and stuff, but good job good job dude good job but in all seriousness it's a it's an amazing thing for him to have and he he is more motivated than ever to keep doing what he's doing 
And it just shows that, you know, like hard work can really pay off. You know, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. That's what people have to remember. It's not guaranteed, but the payoff can be amazing when it does happen. Another person I want to shout out is my boy, Aiden. Aiden, my man, my rock. Aiden, you know him from the channel. He shows up once in a while, plays like kind of the pretentious director. He is also doing a story hive right now. So I would suggest sending a vote his way as well. He's a good friend of mine. And if anything, if I can't get the money, give him the money. Help launch his web series. Um, he's always doing shorts. He's been doing a lot of shorts lately. And not and I'm not talking about a sketchhead style short. I mean, he's making like well-produced short films, you know, lighting, like shot design, script, uh, the whole thing, like, and he's making them fairly regularly on his channel, which link in the description. I have no doubt that if you started a web series with a bigger budget, uh, it would look amazing. So really send a vote his way, um, if anything else, and, you know, help support, help support the local artists here. Lucas has been a good friend of mine over the years. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time uh, since he lives in Calgary. But we used to work professionally together, at least professionally as far as, you know, indie productions and planning and stuff is concerned. But, you know, that's a subjective definition. Anyway, he has a channel as well. I haven't really heavily promoted it as much as I'd like to, so I'm just going to pimp him out right now. Uh, History Abridged. A uh, great channel. If you're into history, if you're into like history bits, like small fractions of history, just learning about certain things that happened in the world and so on and so forth. Um, that's what he does. Uh, he tries to do it weekly, but sometimes he misses misses it if he's way too busy with his day job or he's got other things do he's doing and so on and so forth. But he uploads fairly regularly. I recognize there's a plane in the background, by the way. I'm, I'm still going to say what I want to say about my friend Lucas. Anyway, he's a super smart guy, and it does not surprise me that history is something that he enjoys immensely. So if you're into learning learning stuff in short little chunks, then his channel is for you. Link in the description. And finally, should have said this at the beginning, but oopsie doopsies, uh, Jared Cheer. Uh, the man behind our Story Hive project has a YouTube channel of his own, and uh, he's trying to get content up there. Um, he doesn't really have a schedule yet because he's still in a limbo figuring out um, what he'd like to put up. But he's got some short films up there, and you can check him out. They're they're really funny, and uh, you know he's a great great director, great sense of humor, in my opinion, and also a really good friend. So check him out. Link in the description. Anyway, that I think should be it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to talk about. Um, well, what about your videos, Matthew? It's, a, it's you know, it's, a, it's board game videos. You already know they're coming out. You already know that I do this stuff every every week. You already know that I do a sketch heads every month. That sh that shiz has not changed, brah. Enjoy the influx of content that I'm giving you. Okay, that no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I made a fatal mistake in my life. What are you doing with your um, film degree, Matthew? This? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video or a dislike and help even out the like and dislike bar ratio like in every other update video. Because why not? Let's keep this trend going. Everybody be on the fence.